we will accept from user a score and we will tell user a grade okay so we need similar kind of a setup as we did in the previous example we need one label one text box another la a button and another label so one label followed by a text box a button and another label I'm only changing the text properties of the items so whatever changes you see on the screen is only through the text properties So where you see a dash, that's the text of the second label. Okay, is everybody caught up with this design? Did you change the names? Did you change the names of correct items? That's a very important thing because if you change the names of incorrect items, then your output will show elsewhere. Okay? And then also names are case sensitive. So if you do not uppercase the S or uppercase the G, then it may give you an error on the back end. Okay. Let, let me clear this and then you double click on the button. So my input is coming from a text box. So I have a double score equals to convert dot to double txt score dot text okay why do I have an error and you don't very good very good yep I never changed my names. That's why I want to show you that. So look at it. I'm still having text box one there. So if you are ever coding and you type a name and it errors out, this red line is there for a reason. It is to tell you that something was named differently on the form than what you're trying to use. Okay. txt score okay I make that change I go behind the scene it's fixed okay let me do the same for my label what is our labels name great okay guys now if score is greater than equals to 90 I'm just doing our first step then we're going to take this to the next step if score is greater than equals to 90 LBL grade dot text a So now when I'm running this code, if I enter 88, says your grade is B, 75, grade is C, 60, grade is D, 40, grade is F, 92, grade is A. So I tested for all five grades. 
Now, the problem comes in when I enter a value 105, it still says your grade is A. When I enter a value negative 56, it still says your grade is F. So what I want to do is I want to only allow for values 0 through 100. Okay, I only want to allow values 0 through 100. So I don't want to perform any of these checks if the value is not within that range. And how do I solve this kind of a problem where I have a check before a check? Nested, very good. So what I do is I put this whole thing, this whole block inside an if condition right here. And this is a check to make sure value is between 0 and 100. Otherwise, I will take an alternate thing, you know, which I'll code later on, the alternate. <clears throat> now comes the real challenge. How do I tell computer that I'm looking for a range? Because I'm saying the value has to be between this. So this is where I want to introduce another set of operators to you. And, or, and not. And operator in C sharp is written with two ampersands. Or operator in C sharp is written with two pipe symbols. And where are the pipe symbols? Right above the enter key. On your keyboard, shift and two straight on. Okay. Not. How do you write not? Exclamation. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this is where the real thing comes in. And operator and or operator are used between two conditions. For example, if I want to give a raise to anybody who works for marketing or sales department, so you notice I use the word or, so I'll check if department equals marketing or department equals sales, raise is this much percent. So I use or. That means if either of the two conditions are met, find this person. And, what does and means? Both conditions have to be true. Very good. Okay. So now when I'm looking for a value between 0 and 100, that means both conditions have to be met. The value has to be greater than equals to 0. And at the same time, the value has to be less than equals to 100. Because a value 105 only meets the first condition, but doesn't meet the second one. A value negative 7 meets the second condition, but not the first one. So both of those values will be kicked out, will not be allowed. So and works on the principle that both conditions must be met. So we have something called truth table. The truth table says, in order for AND to be true, both conditions must be met. If any condition is false or both conditions are false, AND will be false. Okay? So, for example, you go out shopping and you want a shirt and a tie. So you use the word and, that means you're looking for both. But if you say, I want a shirt or a tie, that means you're looking for one of the two. So that's basically the difference between and and or. What is not used for? It is to negate a condition. For example, if employee not found, then display this message saying employee not found. So now we are only concentrating on AND. 
So let's switch back to our program logic. If score is greater than or equals to zero, and score is less than or equals to 100. <clears throat> Now, this is a very, very important line to understand so that you do not make the mistake that you may make outside of the class. Because a lot of the time we are trying to convert from English to code. What is the English statement? So it will first evaluate score greater than or equals to zero. We'll then evaluate score less than or equals to 100. After it is done evaluating both conditions, the results will be evaluated with AND operator. Okay, now let's come down to else. In the else portion, I want to write something that C Sharp offer. It is called uh, message box dot show invalid input. What it does is it brings about an alert box on the screen. That's what message box that show does. It's just a message box. So now when I run it, so if I enter a value 100, it tells me your grade is A, but if I enter a value 105, now this is the message box that pops up. Invalid input. If I enter a value negative 5, the message box pops up again. Invalid input. <clears throat> the message box, you can give uh, two values to. What happens is the second value becomes the caption on the title bar. So if I run it now, and if I generate an error, you can see the text error appears in the title bar, which I used as a second parameter. And what I use as the first parameter appears as the message. <clears throat> 